Chicken noodle soup for the teenage soul, the movie. Mark was the most popular boy in his class. He had top grades, was a star athlete, and his face belonged on the cover of magazines. He was the classic all-American boy. Girls chased after him with starry eyes and drooling mouths. Who could blame them? He was absolutely perfect. He also happened to be my little brother. My incredible brother. High school started and Mark and I were at the same school. He was a freshman and I was a senior. My brother seemed to have everything. I, on the other hand, was a shy rider with relatively few close friends. We got closer than ever that year. I don't know whether it was the rides to school when we gleefully sang along to the songs on the radio. Would you sleep on it? I'll give you an answer in the morning. The fact that we were both on the swim team and spent three months breathing chlorine fumes together. Or that we shared the same gossip. <laughs> Whatever the reason, our bond grew by the day. We told each other everything. We were each other's confidant. We listened to CDs every night and danced around the den, laughing. We joked about our parents and their unjust curfew policy. We even hung out with each other at the mall and at the movies. One night, my brother and I were discussing the upcoming semi-formal dance. I didn't have a date and didn't even plan on going. When Mark asked who I wanted to go with, I was shocked. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going, was my curt reply. What do you mean? You have to go. It's your senior year. Mark sincerely didn't understand. Well, you kind of have to have a date to go, and there's not one person who would want to go with me, I told him. Oh, you've got to be kidding, Care. There isn't one guy in the whole school who would turn you down. How do you know? Because you're the coolest girl in the world. That's how I know. Everybody thinks so. You're smart, funny, pretty, talented. I didn't hear what else my brother said. My mind was stuck on seven words that had rolled off his tongue. You're the coolest girl in the world. Ugh, I ran it through my mind nearly a hundred times before it sunk in. My brother believed any guy would go to the dance with me. My brother, the most popular boy in school, thought I was the coolest girl in the world. The rest of the year went by in a blur. I tried new things like coffee, guitar, conversation, karaoke, all sorts of stuff. I was happier than I'd ever been. By graduation, I had experienced a change. Nothing was ever the same for me since. <laughs> Later that summer, Mark and I were having our normal nightly chat. Mark, I asked. What care? His questions were as sweet as his heart. I thought for a minute before saying, Thanks. Mark looked puzzled. Thanks for what? Thinking even longer, I replied, For bringing the me out of me. Mark smiled and hugged me. It's always been there, Care. You've always been wonderful you. I smiled into the darkness as I thought to myself, Yeah, it just took my incredible brother to make me realize it. Chicken noodle soup for the teenage soul, the movie.